ago, I decided I was going to keep my wedding ring in a different location. I normally wear a silicone wedding band instead of my actual ring. When I went to wear my real ring one day, I couldn't remember where it was. Fast forward to a few weeks ago when I found it. That led to my wife telling me I need to build a box to keep it in. So I'll show you how I did that in this video. I had some scrap maple and sepale, I think that's how you say it, and ripped all the boards down to the same width. Then I cross cut them into a square. Next, I glued the three pieces together, sandwiching the sepale in between the maple. I initially used the hand screw clamp to clamp three pieces in an attempt to prevent them from slipping. Then I added the F-style clamps. I let it dry overnight and came back the next day to remove the clamps. Then I took it back over to the table saw, and with the blade very high, I squared up each side in probably the most dangerous way possible. I tried to be smarter about cutting the next side. <laughs> Finally, it was time to cut into two pieces to make the top and the bottom. Doing it the safest way I could think of, I left a small section of sepale on the top. I thought it would look better this way. I put the bottom back in the hand screw clamps and took it over to my underpowered, for this job at least, drill press. I'm using a two inch Forstner bit to drill out the hole. This went on for about five minutes and I gave up and switched to my power drill. For the power drill, I had much more success. I'm going to hold the top and the bottom together with two half inch neodymium magnets in opposite corners. The easiest way to space and align the top and bottom is to make a template that's the same length and width of your box. Measure and drill all your holes, then use a half inch drill bit, preferably a Forstner bit, to mark the center of the holes. After that, just drill your hole to the proper depth. I opted for the drill a little bit, check, drill a little bit, and check method. I was going to put magnets in the top, but I was worried that half inch magnets would be too strong and rip themselves out of the holes. Instead, I used some zinc rods, and they hold the top on pretty well. To hold the magnets in place, I used some Gorilla Glue epoxy. You could just use CA glue. I'd recommend Starbond, but I couldn't find my bottle. Pro tip, do not use water to wipe away CA glue. It will turn everything white and you don't want to worry about sanding around the magnets. You also don't want to sand the magnets. Everything holds together pretty well while shaking but I couldn't hammer in the rogs far enough and there was a gap between the top and the bottom. So, I used my belt sander to flatten them out. However, there is one thing I should mention. Do not sand the magnets. You can demagnetize them with heat. Also, if you put the magnets in backwards, definitely don't try to drill them out. You'll ruin your drill bit even if it's a drill bit made for metal. Your best bet is to use a hammer and punch to break them up and then dig it out. Once I sanded the top flat, it was nearly a perfect fit. It took a decent amount of effort to shake the top off. I routed over the edges with sandpaper and sanded everything down to 400 grit. For a finish, I just applied two coats of Danish oil. Mm -hmm. 
This turned out to look fantastic. I keep it on the top of my dresser, and now I'll always know where my rings are, and my wife won't yell at me. Thanks for watching. I have links to everything I use in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have a new videos every time I stop being lazy and decide to finally make one.